Chapter 47 Within an hour I was covered with the word stay. Extra wishes lay on the ground beneath me, piled like blossoms. Wishes made their way onto the porches, the railings, the sidewalk. After 216 rings, I thought I'd seen it all. Turns out you're never too old to be surprised. Soon it became clear that the stay wishes had been Stephen's idea. With the help of his teacher, Stephen's whole class had secretly worked much of the previous school day making the index cards. Word spread quickly about the project. Before long, the whole school had joined in. So this was your idea, Samar asked Stephen. I had a lot of help, he said. It's a miracle we kept it a secret from you. Samar looked over at her parents. I don't know if this will change anything, she said. Stephen looked over at his parents. Me either. Thank you, though, Samar said, for trying. Stephen started to reply, but just then the timber terminator struck pulled up. The end of my story was coming. Well, it had been a beautiful story. How lucky was I to have seen a day like today? But Stephen and Samar weren't giving up so easily. They ran straight to Francesca, who was busy untangling the kittens wound around her right leg. Please, Samar begged. Can you see how much people love the wish tree? Please don't cut it down. Child, Francesca said firmly. It's time. Stephen pulled something from his jacket pocket. It was a small leather-bound journal. So you found it, said Francesca. In the shed? Yep, said Stephen, handing the worn diary to her. It's a little damp, said Francesca. Samar pressed the key, its long ribbon dangling, into Francesca's palm. You should read it. Maybe someday. How about now, Stephen urged. Francesca sighed. You children need a hobby, you know that? She put the key in the silver lock and the journal clicked open. The pages were yellow, the ink faded. Let me guess, it's about a tree that can talk. Actually, it's about this neighborhood, Stephen said. It's about us. Please, Samar said. Dear, it won't change anything, Francesca said. Please, Stephen said. Oh, fine, Francesca rolled her eyes. Gotta wait for the tree guys to finish getting set up. Sure, I'll glance it over. Maybe then you'll leave me a piece. Dragging Lewis and Clark behind her, Francesca went to Samar's porch, sat on the top step, and began to read.